Bob's Burgers is reopening. How do we get the word out? You lure people in with something flashy and fun. Huh? Welcome back to Director's Choice. Bob's Burgers is one of the most popular animated series is out there currently, and it's not hard to see why. It's funny, and it has lots of characters that are so relatable and almost impossible not to like. What a time to be alive! Tina Belcher is the eldest child of Linda and Bob Belcher. Her family owns Bob's Burgers, where she works after school. Tina is a 13-year-old girl who quickly grew to be one of the most loved characters on Bob's Burgers, and for good reason. She's funny and awkward, the perfect depiction of a teenage girl. In this video, I'll be breaking down Tina's psychology, and it's going to be an interesting ride, so strap yourself in and let's get to it. What are you doing out here? I'm trying to save you. Tina is a 13-year-old girl, and like most girls her age, she walks the thin line between being a child and a young adult. Sometimes she acts like a child, which isn't all that surprising, you know, because she is still kind of a child. I knew this would happen, sort of. <laughs> At other times, she acts grown up and wise beyond her years. We often see this side of her when she's left in charge of her younger siblings. She takes on the role of the parent and acts mature for her age. She's often the peacemaker in times of conflict. She's soft-spoken, shy, and reserved, which is a direct contrast with her siblings, who are more outgoing in nature. But just because she's shy and reserved doesn't mean that she lets people walk all over her. She isn't afraid to speak up for herself or speak up for what she believes is right. She's sensitive and tries her best to avoid hurting others' feelings, even though things don't always turn out the way she intended them to. Tina is socially awkward. She has poor social skills and generally doesn't get along with a lot of people because of her lacking social skills. In one episode, Louise says that she's bad with customers because she's autistic, but Bob quickly denies this. While it's unclear whether or not Tina is actually autistic, her being autistic would go a long way in explaining her social awkwardness and inability to pick up on certain social cues, as is typical with people on the autistic spectrum. Her social awkwardness extends beyond bad social skills. She also displays other socially awkward behaviors, a limited range of emotional expression, speaking in a monotone voice. Yeah, at wrestling matches, cheerleaders are only 10 feet from the action. When things get sweaty, that's the splash zone. Having a limited number of interests and taking things too literally. Like most teenagers, she's in the process of discovering herself, and this isn't easy for her. Sometimes, she gives in to the pressure to pretend to be something that she's not, but at the end of the day, she always realizes that it is best for her to just be herself. Tina's fantasies are a huge part of why she's such a big fan favorite. To put it mildly, her fantasies are nothing short of wild and outrageous. She lives in her own fantasy world inside her head, where she daydreams about everything from rainbows, imaginary animals that don't exist in real life, to making out with boys and touching their butts. She has a weird obsession with zombies, and they often make an appearance in her daydreams and fantasies. Unlike most people, she isn't scared of zombies, and she even daydreams about getting married to one, or several. By a dead pig, why does that sound familiar? I was haunted by a red wig after I saw Annie. Ah, Akuno Kuriketo, Volume 10. Talk about a weird and disturbing fantasy. Her sexual fantasies are a huge part of who she is. She admits to being boy crazy and daydreams about kissing and making out with different boys, even though she's in a weird sort of situationship with Jimmy Jr. Tina! Jimmy Jr.'s at the door! Mr. Jacobson wanted me to give you this for homework. She is especially obsessed with butts, and they make a constant appearance in her fantasies. She is a raging hormonal teenager who often thinks and talks about sexually related activities, even though she admits that the furthest that she has ever gone is touching butts. She writes erotic fiction based on her fantasies and daydreams. She first started by writing erotic fan fiction of television and movie characters, and gradually moved to writing what she refers to as erotic friend fiction, where the characters are people that she knows in real life. She considers butt touching to be the height of sexual contact. Nothing but butt. Tina has a good relationship with her family. Her parents are supportive and her siblings love her, even though they don't always show it, which is kind of common with siblings. Her father tries his best to save her from embarrassing herself with her antics, while her mother encourages her to always follow her dreams and desires, no matter how weird and outrageous they may be. I guess we kind of have an explanation for Tina's weird fantasies. Even though she's shy, 
she still somehow manages to maintain an active romantic life. Her social awkwardness somehow has very little effect on her romantic life, which is nothing short of impressive. Nina and I are taking a break. Tammy, you are hot. Be my GF. Wait, what? Jeff asked me out. Even though she's single, she has kissed and dated a string of boys. However, she's been in love with Jimmy Jr. for a very long time. Jimmy is the son of her father's competitor and the owner of the pizzeria across the road. Remember how I said she has an obsession with butts? Well, the reason she's in love with Jimmy is that he has one of the best butts that she has ever laid her eyes on. But just because she's in love with Jimmy doesn't mean that she isn't giving other boys a chance. She leaves her options open even though she's into Jimmy and is constantly flirting with other boys. While she loves Jimmy, she's smart enough to realize that she's better off with her fantasies than being in a relationship with Jimmy because he doesn't give her the respect that she knows she deserves. This doesn't mean that she'll give up on loving him though. I don't think her crush on Jimmy Jr. is going away anytime soon. At least she's keeping her options open. I have to give her some credit for that. Sewing the butts back onto soldiers' pants when they are shot off in battle. His butt had been spared in battle. Tina has the strongest moral sense of all the characters on the show. She has a solid sense of what is right and what is wrong, and she constantly tries her best to do what's right all the time. She has strong values and always sticks to the values even when it would be easier for her to let go of the values. She's a stickler for the rules and rarely ever breaks the rules. I mean, what if they're flying around helping everybody, like in a big space ambulance? And when they get our message, they'll be really excited to come and see if we need anything. She's sensitive and manages to remain conscious about how her actions affect other people. And she often projects her morality onto other people and tries to get them to do the right thing, even though it isn't what they want to do. For example, when she accidentally crashed a car and then her father lied to the insurance company to cover for her, the guilt eats her up and she convinced her father to tell the truth. But even though she tries to do the right thing, she sometimes gets carried away and makes some selfish decisions. This isn't necessarily a bad thing because she's human, and it's only normal to have some moments of selfishness where we put ourselves first. Uh, I, I just want to see what the fuss is about. I'll probably hate it. See you soon. <laughs> She'll be back. But at the end of the day, she always realizes her mistakes and tries her best to correct them. I smoked you fools. <laughs> Damn it! Huh. Hide! Ah. Right, okay. Tina does a good job of being a normal and relatable teenager. She isn't perfect, but nobody is. She's a likable character, and I think she has an awesome personality. She's definitely someone that I would love to be friends with. What do you think about Tina? Do you agree with this assessment of her personality? Let me know about what you think in the comments. Take a look at this recent clip by Director's Choice and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications.